circles. And so what we have here, guys, we have a couple things. We have some numbers in front, right, which we call the coefficients. We obviously have the radical, and the radicals are all square roots, right? It's not like cube roots and fourth roots. It's all square roots. So those are all the same, which is the index, which is very important. And then under the radical are some radicands, which are not all the same. So when you are combining um, like when you are combining radicals, the remember like terms, like you can only buy, combine x's with x's and y's with y's. The same process occurs with radicals. The index has to be the same, which is true for all these, as well as the radicand. So the radicand, again, is what's under the radical. So what I'm going to do is I am going to group them together with the same index and radicand. Since these have the same index and radicand, they are considered like terms. And just like if I was to combine 4a plus 2a plus 4c, I can only combine these two, right? Because those are the only like terms. So these are the same thing. The index and the radicand is the same, so they're like terms. So again, just like you would add these to give you 6a plus 4c, you combine the coefficients. So 4 plus 2 is 6 square root of 3x. So that remains the same, just like the a would remain the same. And then there's nothing really I can do with the 4 square root of 2x. I'll just put that in a box, because it really has nothing to do with the problem. It's just kind of like a sidebar analysis. But then you just said, yes? Why couldn't you divide everything by 0? You could. I mean, like from here, like, like you could factor out a 2 and write it like this. Like that's just another form of the answer, right? I mean, it's not right or wrong. It's just another form, right? Okay. 